Welcome back to the channel. Roland Green here. Reactions, rants, and rabbit holes is uh, the inspiration for things that come up during the day. And as I was mentioning sometime earlier, uh, Vi, weirdly enough, all I really, and I don't know a lot, I think his playing is amazing. Uh, I believe uh, uh, one time I was, uh, no, twice I got to see him play live. So uh, I did get to see him and Billy Sheehan trade off licks soloing for David Lee Roth. And I'm not even going to kid you there. I'm not sure who was right. It was, I mean, when your bass player and guitarist can trade licks, it lets you know that the uh, incredible talent pool out there is, uh, well, when I pull myself away from my favorite artist, I find uh, all kinds of interest stuff and a little uh, tendered surrender to uh, other things helps create a uh, much fuller appreciation, uh, ability to appreciate and a basket of things you enjoy. Steve Vai, Tender Surrender. It's a first listen, I think. Okay, so we did some Gary Moore earlier because we're on a guitar player special and uh, technically a middle finger to haters too, but uh, just a little too smooth for that. But I also think it's safe to say, and obviously I'm not saying I'm right, but a lot of what wasn't in the Gary Moore track is all over this tender surrender. And if you like a smooth guitar over, let's say, blazing Malmsteen speed, you might, uh, you know, this might be the pinnacle of your taste. I'm just so happy I can appreciate this because this takes me all the way to um, like uh, Stanley Jordan and some other stuff. Jeff Beck. I, I, I just had to blow by blow. I think we should go back to that soon and we can unrelease because I did uh, a tribute, but I didn't want to put it out because I don't chase clicks. Um, that's not why I, I, I don't have some enticing thumbnails for haters today. I don't want to do that. I want the one hater who's willing to see that it's not worth being a hater, but an appreciator. Oh shit, we're leaving at that.
Record this. He is looking young here, uh, uh, but I don't know if that really is true or not. I'm starting to get uh, once bitten, twice shy on the whole. What? Wait. Why does it say? Psst? I'm so confused. Oh, that top comment is really un. Weird, weirdly, weirdly appropriate for our day, but um, very, uh, it's a year ago, but some, for the, you know, for the memory of Mikey, someone here saying my brother practiced for hours over years to be like Steve Vai. We put uh, tender surrender on his uh, crematorium plaque. And there, there's the moment. Here's the moment the haters need to wake up. There are people that go out and listen to all this and they worship it and they can't get past how it affects them listening to it. Do you know there are legions of people that pick up guitars to imitate their favorite artist? It's just not everyone gets a chance to um, go viral or make it. That's really powerful for me right there and kind of a weird coincidence. Uh, that's good. I, I, I'm, it's bad. No disrespect to the fallen, but the whole, we've operated on uh, idolatry and all this, sh this fan worship long enough. If we really want something different, maybe we got to take everything off the pedestals and put it all down on an even playing base to uh, appreciate what's there and acknowledge the effort made by those that won't, you know what I mean? Like it's maybe it's a lot bigger numbers than people imagine. And because of the contract system and uh, the illusion of choice, we're given so many artists to buy from, but I wonder how many could have actually existed kind of thing. It's very cool. Interesting. Let's get back. This is so good. And uh, I guess in the end, even when I'm all, hyped up on my high horse it turns out you can't take away from the abilities of the artist and i don't know why people don't get that as the takeaway are you listening to what i'm listening to it's effing amazing now if you need someone to repeat that to you as i've explained before i worked for best buy for years and all i had to do was reread the tag this customer could have read themselves but because they liked being read to, I guess it works out. I wasn't that salesperson. I gave you over to a, a, someone who liked to get in your pocket and sell you service. Um, I like people who can make up their own minds, make their own decisions, and don't need to be told much of anything. It's so much better that way. Um, the sounds are in front of us. The opinion should come from our hearts, not some group consensus because that's what everyone agrees with. Ugh. Fire! Oh, 
that was fire. And then it also makes me think that I discovered some flamenco. Is it flamenco or some the hell kind of guitar? So I discovered a couple other genres of guitar that don't actually cross over to your rock crowd or your metal crowd. And those guitars seem as fast, faster, or amazing, but um, don't have the same uh, cash cow appeal. So the industry didn't push it. But in other parts of the world, I believe there's all kinds of guitars they could put up against metal guitars and go, really? Guy's blazing fast, don't you think? Oh, yes, yes, I do. You're, you're correct. But I just didn't look outside my box ever, so I never realized. So, at any point, did any of that have anything to do with Mr. Vi and his playing here? Do you understand that we're not talking about the song? We're appreciating the song and talking about other things. Just in case someone, you know, just in case we don't follow along at home all the time. I'm not trying to be a dick today, but I kind of pissed off my honey. So, you know, I'm playing hardball. Mm. Let's go back and hear this, uh, some of this blazing shit going into this. This is so cool. And it's the control on stuff like that, right? I mean, I bet there's a hundred thousand dudes and ladies and uh, squirrelkin spirits who have just whacked the whammy bar like mad. Eh? To be fair, I was giving it up to the other side and uh, ability, but I'm sure there's plenty of people who have tried their life to to have the tremolo and their note create the words that this gentleman can make and uh, get their guitar to talk the same way. And uh, so much respect. And I mean, I don't know enough because I'm no guitar teacher or historian. But uh, yeah, no, I'm pretty sure that's safe to say. Because that was amazing. <laughs> the control. Oh, I'm just saying, <laughs> I'm a, I'm a fan and, uh, <sighs> I wish, I wish what the react here, maybe it's because so many reactors have said the same thing that when someone says something different, people don't know how to take it, but, uh, we're going to move on with, uh, uh, a Malmsteen cover, arpeggios from hell, Tina S and, uh, Put a nail in that coffin and be uh, move on from that to uh, Polyphia and uh, Lipata. So uh, we still got some more guitar to go. <laughs> 